do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside. That's why I do this for you. I do this for my father. Move I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. Welcome back, boys. Pepperonis here with another GTA 5 tutorial video. And today's tutorial, boys, is the Great Ocean Highway Time Trial. And before we start that time trial tutorial, boys, I'd like you guys to all stop the video right now, scroll down, hit that like button. If you ain't already hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe. And let's try to get this video, boys, to 50 likes. All right? Now, let's start the time trial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you get to the time trial, boys, is start the time trial up, press the start button, and find out where the, where the, uh, the end of the race is at. All right? Now that we found out where the end of the race at, you want to back out of this right here, and you want to hold the Y button and restart the race. Now you want to find your way back to the time trial. Then you want to press the start button, and you want to check out the route you're going to be taking. All right? Now today's route, boys, is a pretty simple route, pretty straightforward. There's really no uh, shortcuts, but I will have some tips and tricks for you guys during the video so you guys will have a better chance at getting this done. And I know, boys, if you pay attention to what I'm doing and you do exactly like I say, you'll get this race straight away. Now, the first thing you want to do, boys, is you want to position yourself where you're as close to the outside as you possibly can before you start the race up. And as soon as you press right on the D-pad, you want to press the trigger at the same time, okay? And when you land, you want to make sure you land just perfectly, okay? Uh, try to make sure you maneuver yourself with the left stick. Now, what you want to do here is you want to get in the right lane right here. And uh, make sure when you do come up to this turn up here at the right, you do not hit the brakes, boys, okay? If you're on a motorcycle, you want to just release off the brakes and do as I do here. Now, I will let you guys know that I'm using the Shitaro right now. And the Shitaro is probably not the best vehicle to be using to be doing this in, okay? The Shitaro is actually one of the slower motorcycles at the top end. A lot of people think it's one of the, it's the fastest. It actually has the best acceleration, but it doesn't have that great of a top speed. I think the top speed is only about 124, 125, and you have other motorcycles like the Body 801 and the High Control Drag that go up to like, I think 136 on the Body 801, and on the High Control it goes up to 142, I believe, all right? So those, those motorcycles are gonna be better to be using instead of this Shitaro that I'm using right now. But I did this just to prove to you guys that you can use a slow motorcycle and still do this as well. Now I did do this this race in a car. I will show you that later after this race right here. But uh, tips and tricks you wanna do is, boys, you wanna try to hold on the trigger button, the gas, as much as possible, okay? You don't wanna release at all off of that gas, okay? When you come up to right here, you just wanna be holding that trigger button, okay? Don't release off the gas. Don't hit that brakes, and you want to minimize how much you over those little skid things in the middle of the street that make, when you run over them, it makes that noise. It's slowing you down, okay? You want to try to go as fast as possible. If you're in a body 801 or a hockey tree, you want to be holding back on the right stick. If you're in a Shitaro like me, which I do not recommend, you want to be pressing forward on the, on the left stick. Uh, for me personally, when I press the A button, it doesn't lean forward, so I always just press up on the left stick. Now, what you want to do here is, as best you can when you're doing this race, when you go to the right, you want to be on the right side of the road. When you go to the left, you want to be on the left side of the road. You want to let the, the motorcycle kind of just turn itself for you, okay? Kind of like a racer would do. Now, as you see right there, I beat that uh, on before part-time in May 52,000. It was easy peasy. Now, I'm going to show you me doing it in a vehicle, in a car. Now, as you can tell, boys, I'm in my Wagner. It's fully opted out. It's fully done out. It's nice. And that is my crew color. I know y'all like that green. That's a special custom green that I made. You can't get that, okay? <laughs> that's only for the crew. You know I mean? Okay, that's that's uh, Grove Street Mafia family crew only. All right, boys? Now, right here, if you're in the vehicle, you do want to hit the brakes, but you want to be careful, okay? And the reason why you can hit the brakes right here, and it's not a big deal, is obviously, the um, like I was saying earlier, the Shitaro is actually a slow motorcycle. It has the great acceleration. But this Wagner can really haul ass, okay? And, and most of your supercars are gonna be able to go faster than the Shitaro at a top end speed. Now, just like uh, when you're driving the Shitaro, you wanna try not to skid as much as possible and not to go over those little skid things in the ground, okay? Now, when, when you're in a vehicle, you don't wanna, 
you want you don't want to be where to turn to the left be on the left when to turn to the right be on the right you just want to try to stay in this right lane as best as you possibly can okay because uh you don't need to make up time all, all you know you're in you're in a you're in a sports car this thing goes way faster than that Shintaro. so you have a lot more room for error okay i do recommend you do this if you have a sports car that's really fast a t20 uh, uh, Wagner or anything like that boys to do it in a sports car if you don't if you don't have that then I recommend do it in the body 801 or the Hakuchu drag uh, this this is pretty much a straightaway the whole time okay so this is all about top speed okay top speed brings in this race and I, and I know you guys using these tips and tricks you guys will be able to do this straight away so let's go ahead and just finish the race Now, as you can see, boys, I finished the race in the Wagner, and I got my new personal best time. And if this, this video helped you guys out in any way possible, please hit that like button, and please hit the subscribe. And like always, boys, if you haven't seen me on GTA, you haven't seen me on Fortnite, and you haven't seen me on 2K, it's only a matter of time, boys. Peps out. Peace, love, and hair grease.